This meteorite was found in Australia, but it traveled a lot longer than that to get here. Let's meet the Wolf Creek meteorite. If you've heard of Wolf Creek before, it might be because there was a movie a few years back of the same name that actually prominently featured the meteorite crater where this meteorite landed, although it wasn't actually about meteorites. Now, that said, the town is mostly famous for the meteorite fall. There's a big crater there. It's a national park now, but the meteorite fall was actually quite old. It's from a long time ago. Um, somewhere in the estimates of 120,000 to 200,000 years ago, a meteorite fell into the Wolf Creek area of Western Australia, very remote. It left a massive massive crater. There was something like 760 kilograms of this meteorite that fell. The crater was something like 900 meters in diameter and something like 60 meters deep. So it was massive. And the good news was that this was an iron meteorite. So even though it fell so, so long ago, it has preserved throughout time because iron doesn't degrade the same way something like a carbonaceous or a stone meteorite would. So we have lots of samples of this meteorite, including this one of mine right here. The sample from my collection you're looking at right now is about 56 grams and you see it has this nice beautiful patina on the outside that orange color and that's just simply because it's rusted it's iron and nickel and when that interacts with with moisture and the oxygen in the air it rusts here on the surface so most of these meteorites you find out in the wild will have this rust you can clean it off but it kind of serves as a protectant and i think it makes it look cool and gives it a little bit of character so i left the rust on this one one of the things that I think is particularly unique about this specimen with it being so old is that it has a lot of interesting cultural significance in Australia. As a matter of fact, the Aboriginal groups from around that Wolf Creek area have known about the crater and the meteorites in it for quite a long time. And even before we had modern science, they told tales about how the crater was the result of some type of cosmic event. So it's one of those samples of where um, the observations and thoughts of the past were maybe even a little bit ahead of science um, in that regard. So I think that's really neat. This meteorite is particularly well sought after for people who collect Australian meteorites, and I'm really glad to have a sample of it in my collection. We'll be talking about some more meteorites from Australia and some more iron meteorites too. If you like this sort of thing, follow and subscribe for more meteorite videos.